right, all right. All right, a little Maxwell for your listening pleasure. All right. What's your top book on the bookshelf behind me? You mean the best book, Nicole? Um, there are several that I like, but my favorite book is the one I'm going to talk about tonight, Nicole. And it's called, here it is. It's called The Seven Powers of Questions. Old book. Oh, but, but it is the uh, most amazing book ever. We're going to talk about this book tonight, funny you ask, and how I use it to teach my people how to date. Stay tuned. All right. But that's my favorite book. Um, I have a lot of good ones that I like. Um, but tonight, we are going to have some fun. So, y'all, tonight, tonight's topic will be good. Tonight's topic will be good. Somebody say Louis Armstrong vibes. I love it. I love it. So tonight, the topic is figuring out his intentions early on. How do you figure out? See, a lot of you want to date this year, but a lot of you waste time. A lot of you stay in it longer than you should. Here's how it goes. A lot of you stay in it longer than you should. You give up much more than you ever wanted to. And um, and you lose more than you ever wanted to lose. All right. But tonight, I am going to show you how you, how you can figure out a guy's intentions very quickly, fairly quickly. And tonight, I'm going to do something I normally never do. And if you stay to the end, I am offering a challenge. Gonna start next week. All right. Gonna start next week, next Monday. Some of you, we already got, we already had 30 people who joined it. Some of you gonna need to join this. It's called Dating with Intentions. All right, Dating with Intentions, the power of subconscious questions. Ooh, stay tuned. Dating with intentions, the power of subconscious questions, the power of subconscious questions. For those people who are in my relationship academy, uh, they know they get this all the time. They get to come. They're going to be there. And um, for those of you who want to date, if you decide that you want to date this year and you're tired of picking the same person, you're tired of getting the same result, all right, and you're tired of that, listen, Y'all got to listen to this this live tonight. Y'all, I worked on this live for about an hour. I normally I normally work about 30 minutes because it's already up here, about 15, 20 minutes, right down my nose, and I'm out. But tonight, I wanted to do something different. But before we get there, hey, y'all, people be saying that I be yelling too much. I got a couple people. Now, I'm going to try to keep my voice down because my voice carries. I know that. But when I get excited... I might yell, but I'm going to make an attempt. We all got to try to get better, y'all. If the people can't understand me, some of them, and they know, and they say that I need to keep it down, I will attempt to keep my voice at a pace like this. I can't guarantee it, but I will try. <laughs> yes, I am passionate. I am passionate about helping people. I am passionate about people transforming their lives. I'm passionate about love. I'm passionate about great relationships. Absolutely. Somebody says, forget about them, speak it. But you know what? I got to reach more people, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, before we get into all of that, first off, the first thing I want to know is where? Where, 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 where are you calling from? Where are you checking in from? Give me your name and where you are checking in from. Give me your name and where you're checking in from. That's where I want to know. Um, by the way, y'all, don't forget to tune in on Thursday night. My wife and I, our live podcast. Uh -huh. Going to be crazy, y'all. Oh, somebody, now nah, I can't see who that. Somebody says Facebook user says, now nah, just be you. They're grown. They're baby, be okay. Y'all know I can't be nothing other than me. Y'all know that. And sometimes, 
sometimes when people say stuff to me, I really don't give a damn. But sometimes, y'all, I want to, you know, I want to be right and listen. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So we got Mona Lee, Arlington, Texas in the building. Ruby from Los Angeles in the building. I've got Maxine from West Palm Beach, Florida in the building. Christina from South Carolina. Ray Ray from Massachusetts in the building. We got Tara or we got Tara from Melbourne or from Australia. Tasha from Virginia. Mocha from Naperville, Illinois. Sheree from Massachusetts in the building. My girl Mo in the building from Louisiana. All right, all right, all right. It's that Sharitha from Tennessee in the building. We got somebody, Carol from Oklahoma, Dion Hood from Alabama in the building. We got pretty Kira, Kira from Virginia in the building. Uh, Leona from Philadelphia in the building. Desiree from Dunwoody, Georgia in the building. Lavanda from ATL in the building. Emma from Tampa in the building. Oh, y'all, we got them from all over tonight. Everybody tuning in. Joanne from Tennessee in the building, y'all. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. We got Celeste from Ohio. Tanya from Mississippi in the building. We got Charlotte, North Carolina in the building. I love it. I love it. I love it. Tawanda from Tarwanda from South Carolina. We got someone from Kansas. I didn't catch that name. We got Tanya also from G. Barrel, right? Right where I'm located at. We got somebody from Boss Lady from Kimia. Is that uh is that a farm? I'm not sure. Carrie from Charlotte, North Carolina. Miss D from California. Um Courtney from South Carolina. Y'all, we got everybody in the building tonight. So allow me to get started. We got Dion from Jamaica. Jamaica. My wife and I went to Jamaica. We love Jamaica. We we I took a ride down that raft, and, and that was just so soothing. And the brother just was showing us all. Did y'all know that there are no poisonous snakes inherent to Jamaica? Now, they have python. They got a specific kind of python, but no poisonous snakes. Ain't that crazy, y'all? I mean, that's what they told me. That's just what they told me. But anyway, all right, so let's get busy. So tonight, I've got to tell you about a client of mine. So I had a client last year. And last year, this particular client wanted to know about dating. And she said she was over 40. I think her, her exact age was roughly 47, 48. And, and she began telling me, hey, Nicole from Jacksonville, Florida, appreciate you joining us. She began telling me about the dating pool being a cesspool, okay? She began telling me about her experiences while dating older guys. And she began to tell me that the dating out there today was not conducive to someone like her dating. And so I allowed her to continue to talk. And so as she began to talk, I do what I always do. I begin asking questions. I said, well, why do you say that the dating pool is a cesspool? And she says, because my result, because the people I'm meeting. I said, so the dating pool may not be a cesspool. It may be just the people that you're meeting. Is that is, is that possible? She said, yeah, that's possible. I said, well, how many people have you dated? And she said, I dated, I've dated about four or five people and the experience was not good. And so I went on to say this. I went on to say, well, I said, let me ask you a question. I said, how long did you date? And she said, some of them, a couple of weeks, he wasn't consistent and he didn't communicate. And she began to tell me all of that. And each one of them fell in a category. I said, okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. And I said, I said, if I were, hey, Coach Paul, hey, y'all, Coach Paul is going, he's a dating coach. He's amazing. He's going to be in my academy this Friday, this whole month. He's going to teach us about dating. Me and him going to tag team. He's going to do the Fridays and I'm going to do Wednesdays. And, and, and we're going to show you 
how to do in modern dating, y'all. So I want to say this. So anyway, I asked her a question. I said, what if I told you that the dating pool, that the first thing that you had to do was rethink your own thoughts? I said, because you have some limiting beliefs about dating. And a limiting belief is, is a belief that could be keeping you from getting the thing that you desire. And I said, a limiting belief is a belief that you have accepted as true, but the belief is not necessarily factual, okay? And then I said, you have to recondition, be willing to recondition your thought process. And she's like, I don't know, coach. I said, because here's the thing, as long as you hold on to that belief that there is no one out there, that the whole dating pool is full of gook and gunk, you will never attract the man of your dreams, okay? And I said, I said, because I'm putting people together, couples together every day, are they, and they're meeting the people of their dreams, why is their experience different from yours? And I, went, and I went on to say their experience is different from yours because number one, they approach it differently than you do. There are a lot of you out there who have a limiting belief that simply says this, that I'm too old. You have a limiting belief that says, oh, nobody will ever love me. My time has passed. All men cheat. Men think all women are for the streets. They just only want money. Now, each one of the, these beliefs are beliefs that are limiting. Now, it is a belief. These are beliefs that you have been conditioned to believe. You've been conditioned or programmed to adopt the belief. Now, I want somebody to write this down. I'm going to take my time tonight. Hey, y'all, my show coming on at 9 o'clock. Uh, Unfaithful Caught in the Act, MTV, y'all, Coach Ken, Tammy Roman. We're going to be on there tonight, so y'all check me out. So here's the thing. Where was I? I was talking about limiting beliefs. Now, I had a limiting belief before. Oh, this is perfect. I had a limiting belief about a TV show. I had a desire to be on TV as a relationship coach. Now, I started my journey three years ago when I began to manifest this, when I, I had to change my thought process. You see, my thought process was, I'm too old because the audience, their audience on TV, younger people, and but I, but I began to realize that that, those beliefs were the very thing that was keeping me from having what I wanted. So I rewired my thought process. There were certain actions that I took that rewired my thought process, okay? And so when I rewired my thought process, I began the process of manifesting that which I desired, okay? Well, two years later, those of you who've been watching the show, I became the relationship coach on Unfaithful, caught in the act. I filmed 20 episodes. And y'all, I am going to teach all of you how to do that, how to manifest those things you want. However, we're not going to talk about that tonight. What I'm going to tell you tonight is, is that you've got to be willing to change, to recondition your subconscious programming. All right? And so I don't know why I'm going this way because I was going to go another way, but I'm going this way for another reason. I'm still going to go the other way, but I want you to understand. And so approach it like this, whatever. So I want somebody to write these down, write this down. There are three things I need you to understand because one of the things I would ask my people, I said, which comes first? I want to, I want to get your opinion. Which comes first? Belief willing to do the work or desire to have something. I want you to type in the chat, what do you think comes first when it comes to a person transforming 
their mind. Rank them in order. One, two, three. What comes first, second, and third? I want you to believe, desire, willingness to do the work. Can you rank them one, two, and th one, two, three? Okay, rank them, write them down. Somebody says desire, belief, willingness. Incorrect. All right, let me see somebody else. Desire, belief, willingness, incorrect. All right, somebody else give me one. Willing to do the work is number two. What was number one? I didn't see number one. Somebody says desire, willingness, and belief, and that is correct. So let me tell you how it works. You see, what we have to do is make our intention known. Before any transformation ever occurs, you have to be willing to say it. You have to be willing to, listen to me closely. The reason why making your desire known, making your intention known, because what you're doing essentially is introducing a new thought to your subconscious program. You see, when you tell your subconscious mind that I do want this, so how many of you have said, no, I don't want it because you think that you can't get it? So what you do is you downplay it and you don't want to say it, okay? So the first thing is you make your desire known because what I'm doing, I'm introducing a new thought, a new program to my subconscious. Then the second thing is you have to be willing to do the work. See, what happens is once you start doing the work, because the subconscious mind is the habitual mind. The reason why it's habitual is because what it does is, what it does is it is habit forming. Your subconscious mind is formed by the habits that you've developed over your life. And some of us have developed habits that are not conducive for our development. And so your subconscious mind hears how it works. What the subconscious mind does, it sees what you're doing, the actions you are taking, and it begins to program you to the to do more of these actions, even if the actions are detrimental. Now, we we call them patterns in psychology. And so the third thing is belief. See, a lot of people think belief comes first. The problem with that is many of us don't have a basis to believe. You've never seen a great relationship. You never, you, you, you were always told that you were not worthy to have a great relationship. And so you don't have a basis to believe that you will have one. And so I always tell people, if number one, you make your desire known. Number two, you're willing to do the work. You act as if you do, you act as though you already have it. There is a power, there's a power to this, y'all. And I can show you how I do it once you join the challenge. But, and then the third thing, belief comes as a result of you achieving a little bit here, a little bit there. All of a sudden, you start dating higher quality people. All of a sudden, somebody takes you out. All of a sudden, somebody says that they like you, okay? And then, and then when they like, all of a sudden, and then you begin to believe more. All of a sudden, you begin to believe more. And then you look up and you run smack dab into your goal. The problem is, is that y'all, we allow people, we allow people along the way who operate in their pain, operate in their bitterness, operate in their rejection, and they don't want to get better. And so what they do is they project that onto you. And so when you're online listening to these people who are talking about red pill, blue pill, hypergamy, when you're talking about get the man for all he work, just take his money, all men cheat, all this bitterness and anger. And what happens is the more you take that in, the more you the more you take it into your subconscious, the more you get conditioned to believe this garbage. And this garbage becomes a part of you. And then you 
Then a coach Ken comes along and he begins to tell you that your life can be different. He begins to tell you that you can meet someone. He begins to tell you that there is somebody out there, but you got to be willing to do the work. And some of y'all will not do the work on yourself. You are unwilling to change. You are unwilling to learn how to communicate better. You are unwilling to learn how to work through conflict. You are unwilling to learn how to vet somebody so that you don't end up in heartbreak hotel. You, 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 you are unwilling to learn from Coach Ken who knows how to ask subconscious questions to find out who is in alignment with you. When you learn from a guy like that, who is an expert at communication, who teaches you how to communicate in a way that is not centered around you winning the argument, but it's centered around resolution of the argument. It is not centered around you being right. It's centered around you being righteous with the person that you are with. And so what happens is, so what happens is, is you stay. And you. there are so many of you who will look at my content and, and, and I'm going to speak to somebody. You know that God has told you to reach out to me. You are supposed to book a, a discovery session, but you know what it is? You, you, you won't do it because you won't invest in yourself. And you say, well, it, I'm not going to get a different result. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stay and I'm going to languish in what I'm doing. Okay. And so what I'm telling y'all, listen, here is what this is. Here is what this is. It's like, listen, man, God been telling y'all, they been telling y'all that this year will be different, but it's only different when you become different. So watch this. I told her, I told the lady who had my client, I said, listen, I said, you want me to tell you how to attract the man of your dreams? <laughs> now I said, oh, she was like, yeah, tell me how. I said, pull out that list that you got. You know, I know you got a list. And so she pulls out the list, right? And then she pulls out the list. Right? And so, and I said, read off what's on your list. She said, all right, I right, coach. She said, he's got to be loving. He's got to communicate. He's got to make, he got to be financially independent. And I said, put a number to it. She said, if he make 125,000, I'm okay. I said, okay, 125,000. Okay. She says, he's got to be physically fit, health conscious, right? She said, and she went on to say, she said, he's got to have a great relationship with his, with his parents if they're still living. And then, and then she said, uh, we got to have a great relationship with his kids. And then she went on to say, um, he's got to be good in bed. And, 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 and she's done all these lists and lists and lists. Y'all all, y'all know I always say ditch the damn list, but then I used her list. So I said, I said, I said, let me see your list. So she showed me the list. And so here's what I said. I said this, now, all of y'all 400 people looking at me right now, because I got four different platforms looking at me right now. I said, I want you to hear what I told her. I said this. I said, every, I said, you want to know how to track the man of your dreams? And she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, yeah, coach. And I said, I said, you see the list you got there? Become everything that's on that list. She looked at me like, huh? I said, well, wait a minute. I said, that's the man of your dream, right? She said, that, yeah, I said, but, but I said, are you everything on the list? She was like, no, I'm not everything on the list. I said, so what you're telling me is you are expecting, you are holding someone else to a higher standard than you hold yourself to. Okay. And so, and so she, she looked and said, well, damn, I never really thought about it like that. I said, what we do as human beings, I said, if you want something, become the thing that you want. It become it. I said, because then you will attract it. See, people don't realize you do not attract what it is you desire. You, are, you don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. And so if you, if you are, if you communicate well, you're going to attract someone that communicates well. 
If you want to resolve conflict, then you will attract somebody who wants to resolve conflict. And now, I never said you would attract anybody perfect because you're not perfect. But what I did say is this right here. Y'all, whether you believe in energy or not, because some people that go to my church or my older church used to be like, oh, that's the devil. And I said, listen, that it's science and it's spiritual. See, what we think is science contradicts God, y'all, but it don't. I'm telling y'all this. It's kind of like the person who says, hey, the Lord said, God said, if I ask it and believe it, I'll receive it. Well, y'all missed one part of that. Y'all missed a part of that. But God also said, faith without works is dead. See, what we want to do is we just want to think it and it's going to happen. God, if you, we please say prayers like this. God, if you, if you have me to have it, if you want me to have it, I'll have it. And God says, what? He says that the truth is I've already told you, giving you the power to get the things that you desire. I've told you the principles, but it doesn't come. You have to do the work. You got to be willing to work. And many of us are not willing to work on ourselves. We're not willing to learn how to communicate. We're not willing to learn how to solve conflict. We're not willing to go to Coach Ken or Coach Ken or Coach Rose or, or, or somebody like that and, then, and say, you know what? I want to learn how to date right. Because most people out there handle dating the incorrect way. They don't understand that dating is not about feeling good. Dating is not about going out to eat. Dating is not about him texting you every morning saying, hey, love, how are you? It ain't about none of that. Dating is about collecting data to determine who is in alignment with you. Tomorrow, um, my video production team is coming over. I'm going to shoot a video. I'm going to shoot three videos tomorrow. And these videos, I'm going to tell you exactly about dating. I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about how do you decipher their intentions quickly. I was going to talk about it tonight, but I see what I see what God wants me to go. He wants me to talk about everybody in here. The law of vibration is powerful, somebody just wrote. It is, y'all. You can have what it is you desire. You just have to be willing to vibrate on the frequency. Einstein said the same thing. And so here's, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. Some of you want to have a great relationship. Some of you want to meet the person of your dreams. And if you want to meet the person of your dreams, so this is what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. There are a couple of things that you got to do. Number one, you've got to be willing to change your mindset. You see, if you're, and a lot of you don't know how, Come to somebody who knows how to help you change your mindset. Y'all, the mind is spectacular. God made the mind so, so wonderful. And we think that we can't change it. But the truth is we can. We can, we can, we can. You just got to know how. Y'all, I used to be 420 pounds. And I used to have, and all my life, I've had issues with my weight, right? And so... I was on, back in 2006, I was on the show called The Biggest Loser. All right, I don't know if you remember that show. They had 19 seasons, The Biggest Loser. I was on this show, season three, right? And so I used to think that if I lost 100 pounds, that my life would be good, okay? That it would be, that, that I'd be fixed, that I would be cured. i will be cured of this thing called weight, all right? This prison. And so when I got on the show, y'all, I, I realized the thing that I learned more than anything else when I was on the show is this, is that the truth is I could change my body all day, but if my mind never changed, if my relationship to food never changed, if I never begin looking at food a different way, I would not be able to keep it off. Well, it's been, what, 15, 16 years, and I've kept it off because my mindset changed. 
My mind was reprogrammed. Some of you want to date. But the only way your dating experience, the only way you're going to meet the person of your dreams, the only way you're going to be able to meet the person of your dreams is that you recondition your mindset. And there's a specific way to do that. That's number one. Number two. Number two is if you want to date and you want, you have to get knowledge. Okay. You have to be willing to get knowledge and wisdom, y'all. And so for, for my people who are Christians like me, I, the Bible talk about, you know, and all that getting, get wisdom, right? Get wisdom, get knowledge, go to someone who has it. I want to give y'all a story, a quick story. What's up, John? What's up, my guy? My brother, my brother from a different mother. Listen, I want to give you the what is. So I remember when I first came to Christ, I remember there was an elder in my church, and he was and he mentored us. And so I don't know what your religious beliefs is. I'm just telling you my experience. I'm not telling you to believe what I believe, but I'm gonna profess what I believe. So I remember one day we were cleaning up the church and he knew that I was doing seminars around the country. And he said something to me that stuck with me to this day. It was 20 something years ago. He said this, he said, Kenyon, he said, I don't want you to study to teach. He said, I don't want you to study to teach. Do not study books, all these books behind me. Do not study to teach. He said this. He said, I want you to study to live. And then I want you to just teach what you've lived. Whoa. Oh my goodness. You see, y'all, when I tell you about mindset, when I tell you about getting knowledge, it's not because I read it in a book. It's because I read it in a book. I applied it to my life. I began living it. That's why I got all these stories, y'all, of clients who's changed. Why all these stories of my life? Because me manifesting this TV show that's coming on in 30 minutes. Because I lived it. I live it, y'all. I study to live. And then I simply teach you what I've lived. And so what I want to tell you is this right here. Many of you out there, you got to, the second step is you got to be willing to get knowledge and be willing to apply it. I'm not talking about being a gatherer of knowledge. There are a lot of people out there who want to gather knowledge, just gather knowledge. No, I'm talking about applying it. And so y'all, you if you learn one technique, uh, watch this, in my challenge next week, I'm going to teach you, it's, it's dating with intention, the power of subconscious questions. I, I'm going to teach you one technique one technique, I'm going to teach you a lot of them, but I'm going to teach you one technique that's going to help you avoid heartache. It's going to help you avoid picking the wrong person. It's going to help you because so you know how to determine if someone is in alignment with you very, very quickly. But none of most of you, 99% of you, unless you're my student, even in my relationship academy, they don't have it yet because this is the month where it's Valentine month. I'm bringing in Coach Paul. I'm going to be teaching. I'm bringing in another dating coach. Y'all, so that people, because we believe in love. Y'all, I'm not playing with this, but you got to be willing to do it. You got to be willing. So I'm going to make a, I'm going to tell you how you can join my challenge. I'm going to tell you how we've already got 40 people already joining. And y'all listen to me. Some of you, if you know that you need to be different, if you know you want your life to be different, you want to love again. You want to trust again. You want to be the person that says, you want to believe again. You just want to give yourself hope again and say, there is somebody out there for me. There, if, if that is you, just say me. Or just either say, say me or put one in the thing. Now, there are how many of you are will say, I don't give myself permission to love again. How many of you say, I will give myself permission? Because I can't give you permission. I will give myself permission with, with, with that will say, I'm willing to trust one more time. But this time, this time, I'm going to be armed with knowledge. I'm going to be armed with the knowledge. And I'm willing to put myself first, y'all. 
Check this out. We put everybody else first. And Lakeisha, thank you for being honest. She says, I'm so scared to love again. I know, but Lakeisha, can I tell you something? But that's what love is. I mean, you can never truly love somebody unless you make yourself vulnerable to hurt again, to pain again. Because the low, because if you don't, then you can never experience love on the level that God wanted us to experience it on. Yes, the potential to be hurt is there. I get it. I get it. I get it. And some people, all they want to do is be bitter. They don't want to love. And they may say they don't want to love, but everybody want to love. But you're listening to the wrong folk. So this is what I'm going to say. And then the third thing. First thing, change your mindset. Second thing, get knowledge. And then the third thing is you've got to be willing to take action. You see, here's the thing. There are four types of action you need to take. you got to be willing to take. There is, number one, imperfect action. Imperfect action simply suggests that we, how many of y'all say, you know, when I get this together, I'm going to do that. When I lose this amount of weight, I'm going to be dating. When I get this and that. And you're waiting for the perfect day. How many of you? Oh, I, mean, I used to be, if it wasn't right, I used to say, before I started doing online, I used to be like, I don't have a team. I told my all the reasons why I couldn't do it, get online and do it. I'd already had clients. I used to say all these limiting beliefs. But it wasn't until I wanted to, I was willing to take imperfect action. I just turned my phone on one day and got in front of it and said, the four ways to get him to commit. I'll never forget it. And I was like, I think I had two people on the live. Well, now I got 1.2 million followers on all my platforms. And all of that came from me taking imperfect action. Y'all, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. Now, so what you got extra weight? So what you ain't what you used to be? They ain't what they used to be too. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Y'all, what matters is, is that we're willing to take imperfect action. The second, the, the second type of action is urgent action. You see, urgent action says, I ain't waiting till tomorrow. I'm going to do it today. I, I'm not waiting. What am I waiting on? Urgent action says, you know how like, you know how they, when they get ready to turn off your lights and you got to get there before, the, uh, before five o'clock, get that payment in. It's urgent, right? Or, but that's what urgent action is. I cannot wait. I must be willing to take the action now. I must be willing to take the action now. And then there's the third kind of action, massive action. Massive action is when the person who starts out and says, forget it, I'm going to throw caution to the wind. I'm going to get everything I can get. Not only Coach Ken, I'm going to join your class. I'm going to join your relationship academy. I'm gonna I'm going I'm going to do a discovery session. I'm all in. I'm taking massive action. Because y'all, I remember when I was on the show, The Biggest Loser. Let me tell y'all something. I remember it like it was yesterday. Because they got us out there in Thousand Oak, California, and we were on the ranch. Y'all, have you ever seen the show? Some of y'all seen the show. We were on the ranch. And I remember they had us to run up this mountain. And I thought to myself, why are we doing this? We're all fat and overweight. They I mean, so much 400 pounders. Why are we doing this? And you know what I realized? And you know what one of the trainers told me? He said, because you have to take massive action to shock the body, shock the system. You got to be willing to take massive action. And so... And when you take massive action, what it does is it shocks you to a new reality. I was on season three. Somebody says, when were you on The Biggest Loser? I was on season three. It was uh, 2006, 2007. It's been a minute. But one of those years right there. Go look it up on um, go look it up on Google. You can Google me. I ain't lying. So, I, so you'll know I ain't lying. Go Google me. Okay. Um, go, put Kim Canyon in, Biggest Loser, season three. I'll pop up. I'll pop up. All right. And then the last but not least, so I can get ready and go watch my show. The thing that I manifest in is inspired action. You see, inspired action is the action that comes from God. 
Inspired action is the action that comes from up above. It comes from when, when God is connected with you, when it's the thing, think about it. It's the thing that you can't get rid of. It's the thing you think about when you're rolling by yourself. When you say, I believe, but then you get around negative folk and then you take away that belief. But I'm telling you something. But that inspired action is when he says, go left when everybody else is going right. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When the action you're about to take makes no sense. It makes no sense to you why you're doing this. It makes no sense that you're all listening to Coach Ken tonight because you're going to be doing something else. But you said, let me just like, listen for a minute. And then there's something that I am saying that is touching a part of you, that is touching a deep part of you. It is not me, flesh and blood, connecting with you. It is the spirit of God that is connected with you. I'm simply a vessel. I am simply a vessel that is delivering. Y'all, and some people look at me and be like, he cussed. You damn right I cussed. God still loves me. I'm a still a messenger of God. I'm a man of integrity. I'm a great father. I'm a great husband. I'm a great grandfather. And damn it, I'm a great friend. And you know what? And God knows that. So he can trust me. He can trust me with his daughters. You know why I know he can trust me with his daughters? Because I ain't trying to fuck none of them. I'm just going to be honest. With you. I got a wife. I love my wife. I got a side piece. I got a side piece and a girlfriend. And one woman. One woman. And so I can sit here, y'all, and do what I do. I'm not like any of these other coaches. I don't give a shit about them. Except for the ones that work with me. Right. The rest of them, let them do their thing. I don't care, y'all. We got to stop getting worried about worried about what the hell somebody else saying. We out here worried about that. But for those of you who want to change, I want you to join my challenge. My challenge starts Monday, Tuesday, with a three day challenge. It's called Dating with Intentions, the Power of Subconscious Questions. I'm going to show you how to vet people so that you don't end up heartbroken again. I'm going to show you how to change your mindset. So, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that you can have walk into the love that you want. So for those of you who are interested, all right, here's what I want you to do. Um, for those of you on TikTok and on Instagram, I want you to go to my, my, my profile Click on my link tree. If you're on if you're on Facebook, you can do the same thing. YouTube, I'm going to put the link in here. And click on my, my, my challenge that says dating with intention. Y'all, I have that. Listen, the challenge is $47. I get it. It's a cost. You got to invest. But I'm going to say this. This is going to be the best $47 you ever spent. Because my challenges are normally double that price. But I'm going to do it because I want more people. But for those of you who want VIP, and you want to spend personal time before the challenge with me, get the VIP. I am going to show y'all in the VIP part of it. I'm going to answer all your questions. You can ask me anything that you desire. Let's start learning, y'all. And if you're in my relationship academy now and you want VIP, you come for free. You come for free anyway. But if you want VIP, it's $47. Then you get VIP. Y'all, I'm not playing. Here's the thing. It starts next Monday. All right. You better get in now because it's going to sell out. For those of you YouTube, let me do this. For those of you on YouTube, I'm going to put the link right here. I want to put the link. I want to put the link for those of you on YouTube. So that way, that way. All right. So let me do, give you the link. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Copy the link. Copy the link. All right. For those of you on you, here's the link. Here's the link. All right. And for those of you on the link. Okay. So if you want to join the challenge, we're going to have people there. So for those of you on, I just put the link. If you're on, if you're on, um, if you are on uh, YouTube, I just put the link in the chat. But if you are on TikTok and you are on Instagram, go to my bio, my link tree. Click on the link tree and register for the three-day challenge. Pick VIP if, if you can. Um, hey, my guy, William the Baddest. What's up, William? Hey, what's up? That's He all over TV. My, my guy, I, I appreciate you, William. Um, but listen, 
And the last thing I'm going to say is this. Oh, Nicole says, Coach Ken, you are like a father I never had. Oh, thank you, Nicole. That makes me feel good. I appreciate you. Um, I'm going to say this. The last thing I'm going to say is this. Uh, somebody says, pin the link. I don't know how to pin no link. Uh, Sean and Sherry, Sherry, I don't know how to pin no link. You're just going to have to get it right here. <laughs> um, it's in my bio. If you're on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, I will put the link. Hit me. Eat, uh, text me for the link. Or, or inbox me for the link if you're on Facebook. Y'all, if you're on YouTube, it, it, and here's what I'm going to tell you. So the last thing, for those of you listening, I want to say this to you. There are some of you who have some things you need to work out in your life, and you don't know what's wrong. And you got some complicated stuff. You got you got shit that's going on all your life, and you're trying to figure it out. This month, I am offering my discovery sessions for half price. They're normally $300 for the hour, hour, and 15 minutes. I'm doing them for $150. I don't mind saying price, y'all, because either you're going to do it or you're not. It's $150 this month, all right? And if you want, if you say, you know what, I got to do something different, it's a must. Here's what I want you to do. If you want to book a discovery session for me for half price, I want you to email me. There's no link because if you go through my link, it's $300. Email me at coachkincanyon at gmail.com. I say it again, coachkincanyon at gmail.com. And say, Coach, I want a discovery session for $150. I'll send you an invoice. You pay the invoice, and we will schedule it. Everybody, Five people did a discovery session last week, and every one of you will, to every one of you, them will tell you it was eye-opening. It literally upset. I mean, just it opened their eyes almost like it took the veil off of their eyes. Y'all, some of you, God has told you, you, you know you were supposed to reach out to me a long time ago. You've been watching me for months, probably even years, but you've been afraid. But it's time. It's time. Reach out to me for those of you who want a discovery session. Okay? For those of you who want a discovery session, Reach out at Coach Ken K E N C A N I O N at gmail.com. Coach Ken Canyon at gmail.com. And when you reach and say, I want the, I want the special you running for the discovery session this month, y'all. Um, I'm going to do it this whole month. I actually did it for a week and so many people wanted it. I was like, look, let's just do it for them. I told my team, y'all. Let's just do it for the month. Coach Ken Canyon at gmail.com, y'all. That is my time. I'm going to go ahead and watch my show with my wife. Um, can I type it? Can I, can, can, can I type it? The discovery session. Somebody says, what did, what's the discovery session? It's a deep dive where I go deep into your life. I help you sort out the things that you need to sort out. Um, sometimes we go back to your childhood. We go back to your past relationship. I find out where the disconnect is and what's keeping you from experiencing the joy, the happiness that you desire. Sometimes it might be a couple. I'll do the couple too for the same price. All right, y'all, that is my time. Go sign up for the challenge, y'all. Three-day challenge, dating with intention. All right, go to my link tree, go to my bio, click on the link tree, you will see it there. For those of you on YouTube, here, I'm putting it in the comment section. Go to the link tree. Y'all, time for you to take action. Take urgent action. Take imperfect action. Take massive action. And most of all, take inspired action. Peace. <laughs>